everybody, this is Lucas, and welcome back to A Hat in Time. Last time, uh, we got stranded near this strange planet. Landed in Mafia Town, got the timepiece. Met my, uh, met Mustache Girl. Today, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna start off with Barrel Battle. It's classified as a boss fight. Alright. So we land here, you're supposed to wall jump, obviously. I mean, that's what it looks like. Wall kicks will work. And you got these vault codes. If you collect three of them, well, you'll get a treasure. As I will shortly demonstrate. If I can remember where they are. Okay, but first, here's a sprint yarn. Valve Engineers, obviously that's a reference to Valve. Uh, who owns Steam? Yeah. I, I kind of just came back from playing an old, uh, from playing my, uh, playing an old save here, so like, I was trying to see if I had the brewing hat, uh, just in case I did, I didn't, so... That's a little unfortunate, but you know what? We'll be getting the brewing hat here soon. Just need three more yarn. Oh, really? I seriously just failed to jump high enough? Alright. Double jump, and code get. That's all. So now I head over to this vault. Vaults around city belong to Mafia. No touch. <laughs> mafia joking. Child can't open vault. Vault secured with code. Wait, Mafia code not in pocket. Uh... Jokes on you. I have codes. I now have two yarn. This is dialogue change? No. He gone. Um. Anyways, what you're supposed to do here is head on over towards the barrels. It's simple. Don't fall for that guy's trap. As you can see, Mustache Girl is a trap. Mafia can't have child we got our with gear. Mafia teaching lesson. What? Oh, this awkward for Mafia. Mafia not sure Wait what boss. A sec. What do we do? Teach her lesson, boys. I don't necessarily recall that. Uh, oh well. Anyways, all we gotta do right now is just uh, defeat these mafia men. Uh, doing some homing attacks when they turn red. Oh jeez, it's lag super hard. Uh, yeah. Enough! Mafia won't bow to little girl! Yep, now we gotta dodge barrels. Heads up, little punk! There is a spot where you can just stand there and not get hit by barrels. See if Unfortunately, I'm not barrel. really that capable of finding that spot, so we're stand just gonna run still. around. Just gonna run around and go ahead and uh, not get hit by barrels. I said not get hit by barrels, I swear to God. Let's 
Shall we put the last one to expire? This lead nowhere. Must prepare to feed. I'm skipping the text, I don't know why. But yeah, now I just gotta beat this guy up. And more, there we go. Technically two more, but oh well. Now get on up there and get our timepiece. A bunch of losers. All right. Hey, you're all right, new kid. Do you have a name? All right. The kid with the hat's name is officially Hat Kid. Uh, it's never really said in game, though. No, you shy? That's cool. You're a less talk, more fighting kind of girl. I take it. That thing you grabbed there. Are you collecting them? Because I know where there's more of them. They've been raining from the sky ever since you arrived. I've seen the goons bring them to their headquarters way up there. That is definitely <gasps> up high. Go there and get your junk. It'll be fun. I'll take any opportunity that involves messing up the mafia. Yep. You with me, buddy? And officially now they're friends. That's wonderful. So anyways, back on to the ship we go. And... Dear me, we've got an intruder. It's Mustache Girl. Now... Are you ready to take down some mafia? Let's do it. I'm psyched. All right. Let's go over time. the plan. All assaults need a good plan, or it'll be a flop. First, All right. we strangle um. them, choke them, and watch them beg for mercy. That'll show them. This game is rated everyone 10 plus. <laughs> That's not very 10 plus like. No, wait. Strangling is too kind. Too kind. We smash them together into oh, a dear. and there remains in a jar. Oh dear. And this is the E10 plus. Freaking remains in a jar. Then we sell the jar for pocket money. And sold on the now black market. Ultimate salt in the wound. <laughs> you get a you get a lot more for pocket money for doing that. I'm I'm just gonna say that. That being said, again, that's very on E10 plus like, uh, if you ask me. But first, we have to, uh, make it through their Mafia HQ. Yep. Once we find and dethrone the Mafia boss, the rest will follow. Then our mush and jar party will be no problem. Mush and jar party. That is so... That sounds disturbing. We've got to get you geared up. Your hat is basic. And we don't do basic in this gang. Oh, it doesn't even show up if you switch it mid-cutscene. Yarn can be found around Whoops. Mafia Town and used to stitch new hats if you're crafty. I've collected one for you. I switch hats mid-cutscene by pausing the game. And now I'm not displaying any hat. Whoops. Okay, now that's fixed. This yarn is looking ready to sprint. You already have this app, but you got plus one yarn anyway. You need more yarn for we some free than yarn. others. I guess being creative isn't free. <laughs> so keep an eye out for yarn. Now you're a killing machine. Yep. Let's go get them. Cool. <laughs> that wasn't necessarily intentional, but I guess we could take that as taunting mustache girl there. Anyways, we now have three yarn. We need one more to, to craft the brewing hat. And I'd say we got time for another mission. Why not? Barrel battle done. 
Unlocking this level costs five pawns. Gonna spend that. Act three. She came from outer space. Yeah, that art's actually a reference to an old movie, uh, DVD art. I don't quite remember what exactly what movie that is, because, uh, so, and I'll make sure to just put that in post. But, uh, yeah. Also, as you might notice, Hat Kid's got a raincoat. Cool. We need to head up there and, uh, get our timepiece. Now, if we go up there and try to get a hat, there's this thing blocking the way requires a hat that we'll be getting later. Go away! Mafia watching shows. High interest in bloodline. What is it, Game of Thrones? <laughs> I haven't actually watched that by the way. I don't have HBO. Anyways, what we need to do here Well first I'm gonna actually point out a mechanic. Step in mud, slip and fall, and suddenly we look like a slimy space alien. In fact, the glowing eye, we got the glowing eyes for that too, which uh, was actually added in an update. It wasn't initially there, but it was added in an update. And this actually scares away the mafia goons. You can actually scare them into the water and they die on contact. So, yeah. Goodbye. There's a yarn right there. Ah, dang it. We have enough yarn to stitch the brewing hat. The brewing hat allows us to uh, uh, make an explosive potion. Uh, it'll it'll hurt enemies from a distance, and it'll also explode boxes. Blows them right up. Now back to what we were doing. So essentially, what we need to do is get covered in mud. And uh, this guy. Not required, but I would have gone and done a belly dive over there. No, but this belly's too precious for sliding on. You got two cameras. You don't really need another one. So what we're gonna do here is jump, jump, dive, dive, cancel, go up there and get his camera. This manifests itself as the camera badge. Now if we head on back over. Which is going to require falling into the water, unfortunately. We can talk to the guy again. Camera? Wow, thanks, kid. But I've actually got a ton of cameras in reserve. I, I don't need it. I was just looking for an excuse to yell at seagulls. <laughs> you can keep it. Any excuse is a good excuse to yell at seagulls. That being said, now that we have the camera badge, I will now be disabling camera anywhere because having camera anywhere and the camera badge on at the same time uh tends to like break stuff did the game just crash seriously oh my god i disabled camera anywhere and the game crashed and we're back the game had crashed, so I had to go get the camera badge again, and I had to also recollect the yarn. I got. Do these guys get scared? They do Child not. Can't enter cave. Boss orders. Oof. Oh well. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright. Uh. So he. <coughs> Jeez! Uh oh. 
The controller got disconnected. I'm having all sorts of issues today. Game? Okay, there we go. So our main objective is to get up to the top. Towards the top, anyway. Without falling into the water. I mean, there are several mud spots along the way, and I think there might actually be one right near the goal. Oh, that... Off the bird. Yeah. So here we are on our way. To go, uh, give an old man a heart attack, essentially. That sounds terrible, actually. I shouldn't have said that. Burning yarn! We already have this hat. It'll definitely help us on the path to uh, getting the uh, ice hat, but we'll have to get ice yarn first. Oh, hey, here's the badge seller. Hi there, young one. I am from a faraway land. I've seen every corner of the earth, and now I sell tiny pieces of my discoveries. Sir, are you okay? You may call me the badge seller. For I sell and trade badges. I can provide you with strong abilities and upgrades to your hat. If you have money, of course. Bad Sheller has wares if you have coin. Uh, right now I can only I can uh, only either get the hover badge or the item magnet item magnet badge. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the I'm not able to get the pin right away, which is quite unlucky. That means I can either only have the camera badge equipped, or the hover badge, or item magnet badge equipped. I'll be going hover badge, because that stops fall damage. If you fall from a high enough distance where you'd normally take fall damage, uh, in most circumstances, you, uh, Hack It will instead pull out uh, her umbrella and hover down. We don't have enough of the item magnet badge, so we'll have to come back later. Alright. And it's later. <laughs> Oof. Oh, wait. Forgot where he was. He's right there. Have you come? And with that, we are now broke. <laughs> Unfortunately, again, I don't have the badge pin, so I can only get one. Uh, I'll be able to get a badge pin later, which increases the amount of badges I can wear. Uh, at this point to two, later to three. But for now, uh, we'll just have to deal with uh, only being able to equip one badge. Oh, <laughs> we're kind of actually not supposed to be he at here at this moment in time. We're supposed to go over there first and scare the heck out of this guy. Yarn. I'll go get that. It's another sprint yarn. Wish I could get some ice yarn here. What the? Huh? It's, it's slimy space alien. Mafia's a spaceship. Mavia knew all along, Mavia is being invaded by aliens! Ah! Oh boy. Guy's scared out of his mind. We gotta chase him. The way you do that is double jump dive. We have to go in this direction here. There's actually a way to do all this without jumping. It involves a later hat, though, so we won't be able to do no jumps. Uh, we'll do it later, uh, when we unlock something. But for now... Oh! Well, that was unfortunate. Don't walk too far, everybody. Alright. Yeah, it says A while diving to cancel. You can also cancel with the dive button. Leave Mafia alone, you mon 
little star. Here, if Mafia give you this, will you go away? And that is how we get our time piece. Thank you, sir. I ain't screenshot that in time, oh well. A rare sticker has appeared somewhere, go find it. That's on a different file. Uh, if you'd unlock the world where the rare sticker appears in, it'd say which world it appears in. Uh, but for now, it just says appeared somewhere, so, uh, yeah, that's on a different file. Alright, and with that, that's gonna do it for today's episode of A Hat in Time. Uh, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back here next week, or whenever I upload next. See ya!